Hey everyone, Nefichel Tech here and today I would like to show you how you can connect an Xbox controller or a PlayStation controller or any other Bluetooth controller that's not supported by Nintendo Switch without using any types of adapters. So for example, if you want to use a Xbox controller on a stock Nintendo Switch, you will need to have a dongle in your dock or on the bottom of your Switch and that acts as a receiver for your controller but if you have a hacked slash jailbroken nintendo switch you can actually install a hardware application that allows you to use bluetooth controllers they are currently not supported in the stock system firmware so this method will work for both the nintendo switch lcd the switch Lite, and the switch oled um, but you need to have a switch that is running a custom firmware so in my case i'm using a switch outlet running the atmosphere custom firmware and if you want to have a full updated in-depth guide on how you can actually install the atmosphere custom firmware on your switch your switch outlet or your switch light be sure to click on the links in the video description which will take you to a full in-depth video tutorial for that um, but in this case i assume you're already using a custom firmware on nintendo switch so just to show you what, what I'm running, if I go to system settings, you can see that I'm running firmware version 18.0.0 and I'm using Atmosphere version 1.7.0 E. So I'm running the Atmosphere custom firmware from my micro SD card as an MU MMC partition. So just to quickly show you what we need to do is we need to install a homebrew application on our Nintendo Switch, which is called Mission Control. Uh, and the version that's currently available in the Homebrew application store, so the App Store, uh, is not updated yet for firmware version 18.0. So we have to do this the old fashioned way through our PC. So you can simply restart your Nintendo Switch. And if you're using the Hackety bootloader interface, this should boot your Nintendo Switch into the bootloader right here. And now we can flip it over and we can actually eject the micro SD card and insert this into our PC. So if you're looking into upgrading your micro SD card or if you need a micro SD card adapter or a USB cable or whatever for a Nintendo Switch, I do have some affiliate links in the video description. So be sure to check out those links as well. But once you've got your micro SD card, just put it into your PC and then you should see um, all these files listed on the root of your micro SD card if you're already running a custom firmware. And now what we need to do is we need to actually install the Mission Control Homebrew application. So I will leave a link to the latest release um, in the video description. So it's release 0.11.0, .0, which has just been uh, updated by a developer. And here you want to download this master.zip file. So if I open up that file, you can see that we do have both atmosphere and a config file right here. So it includes the necessary files uh, that we will need to run this Humber application. So make sure to copy these files, go back to micro SD card and paste them on the root of a micro SD card and just override any files that you may have there already for an outdated version of mission control. So then you can eject the micro SD card from your PC and plug it back into your Nintendo Switch like so. And then the Hackety bootloader interface may reboot as well. So then you can go to launch. And depending on how you're running a custom firmware, you have these three options right here. Actually, the first one is the stock Sys MMC. As I said, I'm using an MU MMC partition. So my custom firmware is running from a micro SD card. So that's the option I selected. And now it should bring us back into the atmosphere custom firmware. And you will notice that there will not be a separate application listed in the homebrew menu since there is actually no need for a separate application um, the nice thing about mission control is that it just works straight away so i will show you how you can actually pair your xbox controller in my case but the method is the same for all other bluetooth controllers that are supported by mission control so i'll just bring it in so this controller is not paired yet to my switch so what you want to do first is you want to go to your controllers menu and then you want to go to change grip slash order. And then you want to put your control into pairing mode. So in my case, I press and hold the Xbox button for like two seconds, then press the pairing button on top, press LRR2 once. And now this process may take up to like half a minute to a minute uh, for the first pairing process. But as you can see that went uh, rather quickly. 
So now we do have the Xbox controller and of course the layout is mismatched compared to a stock Nintendo Switch controller. But we can use uh, the controller now so you can even see the battery percentage right here. We can press the Xbox button to go home. As you can see, we can use the controller to navigate around the Switch operating system and the Xbox logo acts as the home button and the B button is of course the A button and vice versa. So yeah, that's just a really quick updated guide for 2024 on how you can pair a um, PS4, PS5, Xbox One or whatever type of Bluetooth controller that you have that normally does not like to pair with your Nintendo Switch using the Mission Control Homebrew application. So again, if your Switch is not modified yet and you want to have a custom firmware guide showing you how you can install Atmosphere on your Switch, be sure to check out the links in the video description. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos, guys. Peace out.